Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, and I could not be more excited about our next segment. Why? Because I consider myself a cookie connoisseur. I am very happy to have uh, Tammy Stagel here with Ruby Snap Cookies. They are included in our wonderful gift bags for Sundance yet again this year. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Nice to be here. It's awesome to have you here. I love your cookies. I love my cookies. Oh, I, there are so many of them that I have fallen for, and I say fallen for because they're they're all named after ladies. That's right. Right, so it's okay to yeah. fall in love with your cookies. Right. Tell me about that. You guys have a, a very uh, kind of particular naming convention uh -huh. and uh, an interesting background as well as far as how you uh, you know market uh, your cookies. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, we started out as a World War II theme to celebrate everything that was yesteryear. Mm -hmm. We don't have shortening or preservatives or anything artificial. We make everything fresh by hand every single day. Wow. So um, we named them girl names after the idea of nose art off of airplanes in World War II. You no, know I love that as a pilot, I can't help myself. Really? That's cool. Awesome. Well, um, and then people get endeared. Like, they'll be like, Margo, look, there's a name after you. And they, people get excited. They're like, there's a cookie with my name. And then they'll come into the bakery and say, do you think you could name a cookie after me? Ooh. And um, But usually they're named after somebody that I actually personally know and then have some term of endearment with that person. Well, friendship and, yeah. and, a, and a, an emotional connection is important in everything. It's important in film. It's important yep. in photos. It's important in making cookies, too. Right. I like so, that. So um, a lot of, some of them are after customers who I've become close friends with. And um, anyway, so they're uniquely different and fun. Isn't there already a Josephine? Yeah, jo See? this is Josephine right here. It's a coffee Kahlua tiramisu. <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's named after Joseph. And, and yeah, that's name. right. Is that okay? It's the best cup of Joe ever. <laughs> no, I can hardly wait. <laughs> How many varieties do you have now? I. I haven't counted because these five in the front are brand new this week. Really? This so week? So I would new. say we probably have about 70 different recipes and every Good recipe is their grief. own. Yeah. Wow. I had no idea it would, could come to that number. Well, we've been in business for eight years and I like to keep creating. And I'm a creative person and this is my creative outlet. It started as a hobby, not really as a business. It was just a place to experiment and express yourself. Yep. Now, how many are typically, there's some staples that are available all the time, they're typically right. available. Talk about those. So we have 18 available all day, every day, all year long that are our staple. And then every month we introduce two specials. Mm. And they come that month and they go away at the end of that month. And it, it creates a rush of people because they know that, for example, these two cookies only come around in January and then they're gone. Wow. So in, um, March, we have a lime dough with a cheesecake center topped off with a lime curd. In April, we have a coconut carrot curry. Mm -hmm. And people know they only come those months. So I decided this year to start uh, a down to earth series that's really nice. earthy. And it uses fresh ground nut butters, uh, florals, seeds, seeds, vanilla bean, and s just for more creative outlet. It's amazing. Now, uh, you, these are uh, obviously available in your store, mm -hmm. uh, fully uh, completed, <coughs> but it's not the only uh, place you have uh, cookies. You actually have the dough available in some of the grocery stores as well. You yeah. can make them at home. You can take them and bake them fresh at home, and then we do ship in the continental U.S. and Canada. Both finished and non, or just baked? Finished, baked. We, we, we ship the okay. baked. Yeah. Which uh, a lot of people would think is impossible to do, but you guys have managed it for a long time to do that. Yep, we've been doing it for eight years. <laughs> oh boy. So. Home delivery. Yeah. And get, getting cookies right to your door sounds yep. kind of ideal. Let's talk about these uh, these new uh, cookies that we have out in the front of us this this uh, month's creations. So talk okay. about, uh, you said uh, kind of the back to earth feel. What have we got? Let's go left to right here. Okay, so left to right we have a anise fennel. And um, it's obviously tastes like licorice. And wow. then we have a sunflower. It's a roasted um, 
honey sunflower with a fresh ground sunflower butter. Mm. Um, in the middle we have a honeycomb lavender which we wow. brought in fresh honeycomb to create the cookie. And next to that we have a sesame tahini which is my favorite I think because it's okay. just really earthy and simple and it's sort of a gentle giant. But my all time favorite that I think is going to be a rock star above all other cookies that I've made is the vanilla bean rose. Nice. So we use fresh vanilla, vanilla bean. Um, we g bring in vanilla beans from Bali and we soak them in like a bourbon or a rum mm -hmm. and then we grind them into a paste. So there's a vanilla bean paste inside of that cookie with fresh rose petals. This might be my favorite too then. And then it's Ooh. topped off with a rose water glaze and it's really good. Now we broke that one so. down pretty well so we know what's uh, going on in it. Let's uh, kind of backtrack through these a little more because I want to talk individually. So uh, again this one, uh, tell uh -huh. me some of the, the specifics to this. So we use tahini which is ground sesame and okay. so it has a bit of a peanut butter flavor but then I put some roasted sesame oil so in it. So a little bit of an Asian help. flavor too. Yeah definitely. All right. Uh, now, honeycomb tastes different than what people understand right. of honey. They think honey, they've got a particular mm -hmm. idea in mind. Yeah. Honeycomb is a little different. Well, it has beeswax in right. it, so it's chewy mm -hmm. and waxy and it will different stick texture. to your teeth. Yeah. All right. Wow. And what else is in it? Um, fresh lavender. That is something I wouldn't have thought to eat, so, but, it is, yeah. uh, but it actually is the uh, same calming effect, I feel. Would that it's, be right? um, you, it'll be a love-hate cookie. Either you'll mm, love really it because <laughs> you like florals or right. you'll hate it because okay. lavender is slightly bitter and people think of perfume when they think of lavender, but I love it. All right, then we get back to the seeds for a minute. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. So uh, the flavor of this, the taste of this is what? It's um, honey roasted sunflower seeds on top, and, which is one of my favorite like little quickie protein snacks. Yeah, those are always good for and, you. Um, I just love how earthy it is, so I ground sunflower seeds into fresh sunflower butter. Really? And so created that's what's inside. It. So it's kind of like a really moist peanut butter cookie, except mm. for with the sunflower flavor. Wow. All right, and then we're finally back to uh, the, this uh, last one. You said f fennel? Anise, yeah. Anise. Yeah. Okay. What's inside of it? Uh, so it is literally anise and fennel. Anise and fennel. Yeah. And, okay. Um, Maybe a lot of people don't understand fennel, but it tastes like licorice, and anise tastes like licorice, and except Ooh. for it's more like a cinnamon bark. Okay. And um, so that's the goal with that cookie is to get that licorice flavor happening in a cookie, and mm. it, it's a gentle version of licorice. All right. Well, let's get a taste. How about we do that next? Okay. Do that? I'm going to slide this just to the side here, and let's uh, let's cut a few of these and try them out. I, I gotta start with this one because you've, you've got me in love with it already. <laughs> so um, when uh, when one like this you think is going to be a rock star comes mm -hmm. along. So um, put that glaze on your let's, tongue. Let's both try this oh, together okay. if that's okay. If we could cheers. <laughs> yeah indeed. Then do you add it to the menu as a one of the 18? Uh, do you split um, out so that sometimes? I think what I'm going to do is take away one of our specials each right. month and then introduce this earthy series all year long. Mm. Um, and probably we'll get a lot of protest because people look forward to their favorite Everyone cookie. has one. You can't please everyone, so, right? Unless yeah. you make an awful lot of cookies. Right. Well, okay, cheers. ready? Yes. Here we go. Mmm. Okay. Well, that was a little different. The rose, I wasn't expecting. Right. I'm smelling rose. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a very big bite. <laughs> I know. I probably should put it a little smaller, but my goodness. I, but why? They're, <laughs> they're yummy cookies. Um, you, you don't think about the fact that there's so many edibles out there right. that are, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, something like a, a flower or, uh, you know, seeds and different things. You, mm -hmm. you think about some of them, but not. I never thought about a yeah. rose. With these, wow. you'll get a little bit of sensory overload because they're each flavor is pretty bold. I'll if say. you try them back to back, but <laughs> yeah, we, we almost need a little <laughs> sherbet or something to cleanse the palate. But wow, this so is amazing. This year, I'm also going to be creating a wasabi sweet pea. 
I can hardly wait for that. And I'm really excited about that one. But we're going to do, um, I'm going to do a pomegranate hibiscus. Wow. And then a uh, passion fruit tarragon. Now, I've had a hibiscus in, in a food before, mm -hmm. and I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. So that sounds terrific. The other is. Which is kind of that, like, rosy slash yeah. Earl Grey feeling. That's exactly so, what I think of, a zero gray tea, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh, I can hardly wait. This is one I'm excited about because I'm a big fan of the sesame oil. Okay, yeah, All right. smell it. Go. Give it a smell. Oh, yeah. See, can you smell it that tahini? It smells peanut too. Yeah, which I didn't expect out of tahini, <laughs> so. Well, here's to a little, a little bit of <laughs> peanut butter flavor. I like the sugar on top. That was a really nice touch. That you can. Oh, do you know, it almost, uh, it reminds me when you're uh, at sushi, afterwards, mm -hmm. after you've had the ginger, you know, that aftertaste. Yeah. That's what this tastes like to me. A lot, because it's v definitely very Asian feeling. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Excellent, excellent cookie. <laughs> this is so this much one fun. will be Can called we? Sayuri, and it's named after a friend of mine from Japan. Can we bring so. in like all 18 and just <laughs> on the <laughs> table? Wow. All right, we're moving over here. Now, the honeycomb, do you get this from Utah? Yes. There's plenty of honey purveyors There's here. There's a lot of honey purveyors here, so. One doesn't necessarily think about that with it being kind of a, you know, seasonal, we have so many seasons. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for a small piece, because yeah. I ate these all day <laughs> I'm yesterday. I'm not too big this one here, but. Uh, um, oh. Yeah, one of my favorite honey companies is Slide Ridge Honey. And so that's where you're sourcing this. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is, tr oh, wow. Different, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to save a, a couple for later here, you and I. But I have to say, um, the selection, amazing. I mean, the variety. And I love these earthy tones that you're getting into. That's. Yep. Fun. And you know what? It makes me feel like, uh, like healthy at the same time. <laughs> well, we do try to keep them clean. Yeah, so you they, really have. I mean, yeah. uh, and that's, a, a, you know, for so many people, they're like, of course I want to eat a cookie, like right. everyone else, but I want it to be a healthy cookie in yeah. that sense of uh, there's so many ingredients people are putting into the manufactured ones that, yeah, would you ever, yeah. the preservatives. I see these uh, cookies that stay soft forever, and, well, there's a reason. These have a life, and they're good right. today. <laughs> so, Which is why you've been delivering them fresh for our uh, for our gift bags each every day. Every day, yeah. So I was always kind of the chubby athlete. I love to cycle, and mm -hmm. I can cycle thousands of miles like a placebo. But I felt like if I was going to have something on my free day, I wanted it to be really worthy. And I wanted it to be clean and healthy and good so I wasn't wasting all of that time and energy that I invested in trying to be healthy. Right. So if you're going to consume how, some calories, make them good calories. Right, right. Not sweet zero, which I call things that are sweet but gross. So, <laughs> Tammy, tell me where Ruby Snap is located. It's downtown Salt Lake City on 770 South 300 West. That's an easy one to remember. You're right uh, next to, just down the way from Picture Line. Right. For those yep. photographers and right. cinematographers, they know where Picture Line is. That's right. Right there. Yep. I always make it a point of going to both places whenever I can. It's an amazing store. Yeah. So we come right down to your little shop, uh, which is uh, so much fun because not mm -hmm. only do you have these wonderful cookies, but you have the things to go along with it. Some of the old sodas and different uh, right. ideas. We have awesome employees they're very fun and we give unlimited free samples so you can try anything you want until you find the one you really want yep. take and even if you tried it a hundred times you can try it again <laughs> that's always so. my excuse with the lemon head cookie yeah that's a fun need one to try it <laughs> yep well i want to thank you as always you can find more from ruby snap at rubysnap.com again uh, it's probably my favorite addition to our gift bags this year for sundance but they make a great gift all year round especially a good Christmas gift or if you're uh, heading over to somebody's home and you want to make sure you bring uh, something along for the party, well, I suggest Ruby Snap is probably your best choice. We've got a lot more happening here on Park City Television's Mountain Morning Show. We'll be back.